Okay, here's the moment of truth. 244 Rosemary Landing. Nissan in the driveway. Garage doors. Huh? There you go. It kind of makes it seem lived in when you can open your own garage door. Here we go. There we go. They power washed the floors, made them look a lot better. So. And we got everything, heater running, water heater running, screens. We'll put the screens in later, if we put them in. I just like the brightness of everything without a screen. So, let us go in the front door. And we got some plants. That's nice. I like the, the red contrasting trim with the gray and white and the stone everything seems to be okay we had a punch list and they did what they said they were going to do so we were happy and we closed this morning at 11 o'clock and I was given a house key Keep calm, Ken. We got that at uh, at England. All right, I got the door unlocked. So let's let's go in. Oh, it's a good seal. Okay, very uh, fake wood. Very nice. We got our big windows. It's nice and cool in here. It's now on our electric. Okay, so here's the uh, the office uh, that I'm going to have a little room and everything looks fine. I wish it would autofocus better than it does, but it doesn't seem to want to. And nice. Nice size closet. I've got room for stuff. I like my stuff. Door closed. That's the Jack and Jill door we talk about. Here's the Jack and Jill. Exhaust fan, very important. And there is our tile and granite or whatever this stuff is. I don't know what that stuff is. I don't know. It's pretty. Fiberglass drop-in tub. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, faucets. Here is the look back into Tracy waiting in the car. All the garage door things work. The closet security system and another little storage bin <coughs> for stuff. Got a security system, and here's our lighting. There you go, all light. Small but cute. Appliance, refrigerator still has to go in. We got our uh, can lights or whatever they call them. 
finally a disposal. Never had one before because we've been on a septic. So we've got the you know easy to clean spray stuff, swivel, all that fun fun kitcheny stuff, dishwasher, gas range, microwave, the fun pantry. We finally have a pantry we can put all the canned goods that now are taking up cabinet space at the other house. And we opted for taller cabinets. So for now, I can get to the top shelf now if something ever happens and I am wheelchair bound, I won't be able to. Well, thing, one thing we liked was the height of the cabinetry is such that you can have a wheelchair pull up and still be able to do work on the countertops. Sounds macabre, but we learned th from Tracy's parents. It's best to plan ahead because you never know. And they were able to live in their house until the bitter end. And that's what he wanted and she wanted. Here is the washroom. So we've got room for stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, things that work. Just trying to get it focused better. We're using the same tile. Wherever there's tile, it's the exact same throughout the house. The two master, the, the one master, the guest bedroom, and in here has the same matching tile. We've got nice views. We've got the fireplace. It's uh, a gas, fake gas log kind of thing. Like what we have at the current house. TV goes up here. And now this was interesting. The guy that uh, assists the builder. This plate Take it off and there is a hollow tube where you can feed the cable down into the other receptacle to pull it out and screw it in, you know. But with everything going wireless nowadays, I'm not sure we're gonna need to do that. But it, it is neat in that you don't have a cable draping all over the place. So, seems like nice fans, they're all balanced, they're not vibrating. We'll take a quick walk into the master. There, we've got a air conditioning in Honeywell, there you go. Okay, nice flooring, nice windows, tray ceiling. The very roomy closet, lots of shelf space. And floor space. And going back into the master. It's smaller than our current master bedroom, but we are reducing the quantity of items that will be housed here. So we should be okay. You live and adapt to your surroundings. I like the little double doors where you can get a wide open berth for any later wheelchairs and such. And Light, light, light. 
here is that raised sink that I got as an option so I can lean into it. This sink is lower. The shower, we finally have a tile shower. Right now we had a fiberglass drop in and you talk about hard trying to keep the the bottom clean, it would get dirt ground into the fiberglass. So we have a little more room, a nice grab rail. Another wonderful uh, closet for towels and such. Access to the air handler in the attic to switch out filters. A nice raised commode for assistance getting on and off of it. A little window to look out to the wall of fame out there. And another nice grab rail. So we're very pleased they seem to do a nice job and let's just stick our head briefly in to where the cats are going to love having a screened in porch where they can feel that they're living outdoors but in the protection of screened in living. So there we go. Oh, i got to turn it light off and still a pretty view sheds gonna go somewhere around here so there will be a little blockage of view but it'll work out let me lock this since we're gonna leave don't want anybody coming in I'm gonna kill the lights Open this light. Here is the only carpeted area going up to what I call the cloud, the bonus guest bedroom. I like the graining on the handrail. And here we go. A little bit of a landing. The reason for the slant is because of the third car garage option. They had to tie the uh, trusses into the house. So I like they're using LED lights, so uh, they will wear out eventually, but uh, they'll last a while. This is going to be what currently is in the cat closet at our house. I'll move things up into here. Tracy will let me, I'll use the word junk up, the upstairs closets. Nothing down below that isn't in the shed. And here's our little space. And there's Tracy, not knowing I'm up here. And now, oh, we'll uncover all of these smoke detectors. And once we get the alarm system uh, linked in, then they'll be active. Here is Studebaker Parts Central. I've got space, plenty of insulation I'll be able to inquire about having some sheathing and insulation put here and then I'll be able to hang more parts and stuff off the wall and get rid of the open space that is uh, taking all this heat from the roof and bringing it in here 
So there we've got stuff and rooms and space. It's exciting. I'm thrilled. Tracy's happy and that's what matters. So we feel very blessed and it looks like the little house will become a home. And I had mentioned about the air handler. There it is over there. And it had that uh, pull down to gain access to the filter from inside the master bath. So you don't have to walk the floor here that is not designed for you to walk on it. And I guess we're inspected. Who knows? We did get our residence of occupancy or whatever the inspection is. We're thrilled to death. I'm closing up. I've got the one stair. That's all. And you don't have to come up here unless you want to. So I'm tickled. And we've got an AC unit with a baffle where you've got one air handler, one compressor, and it feeds uh, to the upstairs and downstairs off of one unit. So it's supposedly efficient. I'm turning the lights off and saying bye-bye and thanks for your patience.